Hi guys, this is me. This is Rusty in Central Texas. I don't know how this lighting's going to be this morning because I'm in my office or my studio in Central Texas, USA, and we have a had a cool front come through. <clears throat> it's about 42 degrees here this morning. This is March the 19th, 2016. And my channel is about RVing, camping in a Prius, full-time RV. I live in an RV. And uh, anyway, this morning I, I wanted to respond to a comment again. Another comment on one of my videos I did on a camping in a Prius. And the comment was, it, it was actually twofold. It was, there was two comments, same individual. And, and the first comment was, do I ever camp in cities? And the answer to that is uh, only at Walmart. Normally I camp at Bureau of Land Management, Corps of Engineers, national parks, government. You can camp at government land and uh, national forests. For, for free and, and I do that occasionally but as far as camping in the cities or little towns along the way no unless they have a Walmart and then you go to a there's actually a wall you know do a Google search for camping at Walmart and you can find out which stores allow camping not all of them do but there are a number of uh, Walmarts that do allow camping and of course you can always if you go if you don't know you can go inside the store and ask and as usual, I'm doing my fashion statement. <clears throat> and uh, the second comment was uh, asked if I had ever done any uh, what the, what's called stealth camping. And uh, the answer to that is no, I haven't. Uh, the reason being is uh, I don't find it necessary for me because, again, I'm retired. I mean, you know, my, my income is set. I'm not, you know, working or whatever. I got Social Security and a little more after that. So uh, I don't. Now, for those that are interested in stealth camping, I would recommend checking out some of the stealth camping uh, YouTube site channels because there's a number of them. There's, you know, there I didn't realize how many people were living in their cars until I started doing these Prius camping videos and, you know, checking out, you know, living in a car, uh, living cheap and stuff like that and you know you'll find a lot of ways to live in a car virtually anywhere and, and uh, stealth camping uh, is something I have not done of course the major reason I haven't is again I'm I'm age 70 and I've only been camping in a Prius for three three and a half years and I haven't found it necessary because I get 50 percent off at national parks and Bureau of Land Management and Corps of Engineers. And, you know, so that knocks it down to, for me, four bucks a night. Well, you know, that's chump change. I, I can handle that. And, and I do. <clears throat> so, but a caution for those of you that are thinking about doing the stealth camping. You know, I'm not against it. You know, it, I, if I had, if I needed to do it, I'd do it. But you got to know that the police particularly in smaller communities, or even large, you know, they're, they're, they're looking for you. You know, they're riding around late at night, uh, maybe in a low crime city, and, uh, you know, you're what they're looking for. You know, you're their ticket for the night. And what they'll do, they'll hit you with a ticket for trespassing if they can. And uh, so if you're going to do the stealth camping, just be super careful. I mean, I can't imagine any city of any size. Now, maybe there's cities in the Northeast that don't have Walmarts. I, I, I don't know. But, you know, Walmarts are everywhere. And, you know, if you go to uh, do a Google search for camping at Walmart, I would imagine you'll find that in most cities, you know, there is a Walmart that you can camp at. Now, can you live there? Uh, I would imagine you could stay there several nights. Uh, and they wouldn't say anything unless you left trash around your car and so forth. As long as you were clean and polite and so forth, uh, I doubt that they'd bother you for several days. But anyway, that's the uh, response to comments for today. Again, this is Rusty78609. That's my channel. And it's uh, all lowercase, Rusty lowercase 78609. No spaces. And, uh, you know, if you... 
If you want to see more of things like this uh, related to full-time RVing or living in an RV or camping in a Prius, uh, basically a retired lifestyle like me, uh, then fine. And every now and then I'll throw in an opinion about politics and I'll do a, a product review. Uh, if I find a product that I believe is uh, that works for me, then, then I'll certainly give it my endorsement because, uh, you know, if I find it useful and it's a good price, why not share it with other people? So anyway, I got to do a wine, excuse me, a beer tasting today again for the same one I did last week. It is um, the, be the, the best damn root beer and it's a, a alcohol. It's beer flavored. <clears throat> it's a root beer flavored beer it's about six percent alcohol i believe and uh you know you can make ice cream floats with it and you pour it over vanilla ice cream uh would i do it probably not <laughs> i don't think so but be that as it may uh, again y'all enjoy your day and uh thumbs up keep those comments coming it gives me a reason to make videos and uh, i always enjoy doing the videos and uh, hopefully, uh, again, I, I was planning on taking a trip this month in the Prius, but uh, I got booked up on wine and beer tasting. And, and again, I'm retired, and that little extra money helps a lot, even though, I mean, I just waste it most of the time. But, and I looked at my schedule for April, and it looks like pretty much uh, every weekend, or nearly, uh, in fact, every weekend, I've got a tasting event. But whenever I get a weekend off, you know, then that would give me basically 10 days, then, then I, I'll probably go take a, a Prius trip. I like to have at least uh, 8 to 10 days because I, to get out of Texas, my God, from where I am, it takes a full day. It takes 8 hours to drive to Guadalupe National Mountains National Park, and that's my first stop going northwest. And... Uh, and I usually stay a day or two there, and then I'll either go through Carlsbad up into Cloudcroft, New Mexico, or go uh, west and go close to El Paso, turn north, go through Las Cruces, and uh, cut over to, uh, or go or go up to Aguirre Springs, which is between Las Cruces, New Mexico, and Alamogordo. It's elevation about, I believe, close to 5,500, 6,000 feet. Nice place. You just don't want to be there on the weekends because it's close to Las Cruces, and it gets a little busy on the weekends because there's a little, uh, there's springs there and uh, any place, and I've mentioned this before, but any place there's water, lakes, rivers, streams, uh, on the weekends they get pretty busy and uh, so try to find places where there's not if you want to have a little privacy and quiet. I don't mind being around, I mean, it's not like I'm a recluse. I, I enjoy being around people. I just don't like, you know, barking dogs all night and, uh, you know, somebody playing a stereo till three o'clock in the morning and and that sort of thing. Another place, and I've mentioned it before, uh, City of Rock State Park, which is uh, between, uh, uh, let's see, it's north of, I think, Deming, New Mexico, going towards Silver City. It's a little state park. It's pretty nice. And uh, but anyway, there's a lot of good camping in New Mexico, and I can do that very easily and enjoy myself in uh, eight to ten days. Uh, if I get two weekends in a row with nothing to do, then, you know, I go on up into uh, southern Colorado and over to the Four Corners area. The Four Corners area of the U.S. Uh, is a very beautiful area. Is it the most beautiful area in the U.S.? You know, it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, but it is. It's really pretty in there. And then you can go on farther. And northern, northeastern Nevada is really neat, really nice. And, of course, uh, the North Rim of Grand Canyon is really nice. And, you know, if you go far enough over and get on the West Coast, you can get on Highway 1. And, you know, if you haven't, if you've ever had the opportunity to drive that road up into Oregon and Washington State, uh, that is a awesome, awesome drive. Awesome. Very, and there's camping places all along the way. You'll have to pay, oh, uh, you'll probably average for primitive camping, 10 bucks. Something like that. It's not too bad. But be that as it may, enjoy your day. This is a uh, Saturday morning. How about that? So you guys, thanks for your comments. Keep those comments coming. And where is the off button? Adios. Bye-bye.